All right, some good news for history buffs this morning. Construction at the Truman Library in Independence is on schedule. Despite the coronavirus, the museum should reopen this year. The library director says crews are at the point where they're wrapping up individual projects overnight. Soon they'll install exhibits and artifacts, and finally they're going to be able to cut the ribbon on that $25 million project in the fall. It was already a really incredible library and looking forward to seeing how that's going to be looking once it's done. By the way, today is Harry Truman's birthday. It is also VE Day, marking the end of World War II in Europe. Yeah, let's get to 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan and I guess chief history correspondent this morning for how the Truman Museum had to adjust <laughs> its big celebration because of the coronavirus. Charlie, everything's changed. This is just another thing on top of the list. Right, this is one more adjustment that we're all having to make during this coronavirus time. Yeah, and that history uh, correspondent is a big hat to wear here, Taylor, but I'll try and do my best. We've talked with the library director who said he didn't even want to name all the headliners that he was bringing in town for some in-person big events that have had to cancel because of social distancing rules. But have no fear, the celebration is continuing here at the Truman Library and Museum, but it's just moving online, celebrating Harry Truman that way. The library is actually asking you to participate by sharing any stories you have with World War II veterans on their social media pages. They think that's a good way to, to, re to recognize how, you know, Truman was president when World War II ended, and those World War II veterans really shaped the world we know today. It's important to remind ourselves that the infrastructure that Harry Truman and Winston Churchill and other great leaders put in place um, has afforded the world more peace and more prosperity than at any other comparable time span in human history. And if you want to dive into some of that human history, the museum actually put up some of its exhibits, especially the ones around VE Day, Victory Europe Day, today up on its website. So you can kind of do a virtual tour and still see some of that artifacts and whatnot while the museum doors are closed for that renovation. So, Lindsay and Taylor, something for you guys to check out today. Pretty great to be able to go and look at that online, too, and see what's going on. Charlie, what did the museum director say about how Truman would handle the coronavirus if this happened while he was president, famous for his decision-making? Right. Well, exactly right, Taylor. And I did ask him that question. He said that Truman always kind of fell back on this moral compass or moral code that was ingrained in him when he grew up here in the Midwest. So he said he wouldn't get overwhelmed with the big decisions that a president has to make right now during this coronavirus. He would just fall back and trust that moral code to make the right decision. Mm -hmm. Lindsay and Taylor, back to you.